Hi there and welcome back. So in this part of the course, we're going to take a look at all the options that we have over here and understand what each of this is. Now, uh, when I click on new, that's going to open up a new dialog box where I can choose to create a new project. So the next one we have is the open. So when I click on open, that's going to go ahead and open up my file directory, which I can choose a separate project file and load that up. The next one is open recent where all these are the recent ones which I have used before so I can just click on any of them and that's going to load that up. And the UI kit is the one which I showed you in the previous video where these are ready made and pre ready to use templates. And the next one is the normal uh, option which is pretty sure everybody knows is save so just click on save and that's going to open up a directory for you and uh, that's going to save it up so I've saved it as and titled. And save as is, for example, you want to create two versions of the same document. Um, you can go ahead and just select this, right click and choose save as. And that's going to open a new document and you can save the same project again as a separate project with a different name, which is going to be pretty handy for you sometimes. Uh, the next one is revert to save. Now, for example, I have this document which I have created. So let me just go and just create a rectangle like so. And I'm gonna come over here and click on save. Now what that's happened, and that's saved my project. Now let me just go ahead and create another circle this time. And this time when I go and choose revert to save, it's gonna say, do you wanna to revert to the most recently saved version of the document? Your current changes will be lost. If I click on revert, it's gonna delete this one and open up my previous version of the document which I saved, which is very handy in case you make a couple of mistakes sometime or you're doing a trial and error to create something. So the next thing is we have export, which we're going to take a little bit more in detail in the end of the course uh, where you're trying to export. And import is where you want to import your assets, import PNG files, vector files, JPG images, SVG images, whatever it is. And also we're going to take a look at the share feature also later where you want to share it with a client, with a fellow team member, or even to anybody else who wants to have a look at it. And the last one is the manage share links which we're going to look at a little bit later um, at the end of the course along with the export and the share features. And the last one here is help where you can understand what's new with every update that comes, uh, learning and support if you have any questions, uh, feedback if you guys uh, like something or you don't like something or you guys want something to be implemented. Release notes is basically similar to what's new but in more detailed version. Uh, Adobe, about, uh, about Adobe XD which tells you the version. So this is the current version I'm running and uh, yeah it gives you all the information okay um xd tutorial is uh gives you a small basic brief understanding of how to work in adobe xd and the adobe xd help and uh, managing your account and signing out so it's pretty much it of uh, understanding what these uh, options are so thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video